Welcome to Getting Started with Gorilla Budgeting. This quick tutorial will help you get started with Gorilla Budgeting 6. Now there are over 50 videos for Gorilla 6, and this one is not intended to replace any of them. But if you want to start budgeting right away, this is the video for you. So let's get started. When you first launch Gorilla, you will be taken to the Project Manager. In the latest version of Gorilla 6, you will see a demo budget in the Select a Budget list. I'm going to select it to open the budget. Now I'm going to show you how to load other budgets later in this tutorial, but let's familiarize ourselves with the top sheet. The top sheet is a summary of your budget. You will have your categories here, and you will see a summary for that category, or sometimes called a section, in bold. In a Gorilla budget, there are three or four levels. The top sheet is the first level. To go to the second level, click on the arrow. This is the account level, where you can set up accounts. So let's say we want to add an account here. Click on the Insert Row button, enter an account number, and this should relate to the accounts you're using for accounting, but doesn't have to be. Enter a description for the account, and then to enter a rate for this account, click on the arrow button again to go to the next level, the Detail level. Usually, when I'm on this level, I select the Slim View. That way, I don't have all the columns showing. The way the Detail level works is Amount times X times Rate equals Subtotal. So if you enter a rate here, it will subtotal here in this column. Let's go back to the top sheet, and you will see that the new item gets totaled on the appropriate category level. Next, let me show you how to add a global to your budget. A global is simply a name with a value attached to it. It's a very powerful feature when creating a budget. I'm going to create a global for shoot days. Click on the globe button here in the toolbar and create a global group called shoot days. Here in this area are the globals that will be attached to that group. So let's create one. I'm going to call it S1 pre-production and give it a value of 6. Let's create one more called S2 for shoot days crew and give it a value of let's say 12. Now let's go to an account. I will choose set operations and select a crew member. And I'm going to create two detailed line items here, one for prep and one for shoot days and enter a rate in both. Now for amount, we are going to enter globals. Select the global button here and select the prep global. And then here, select the shoot days global. Let's also enter D here for days for the units. So see what happened here. We entered days worked without actually entering the days. The powerful part of this is that you can change the global and when you do change it, it changes throughout your budget. So let's say if you wanted to add three days to your pre-production, you click the globals button, change that value of the global. When you return to the budget, you will see that it changed the days for that amount. Now I'm going to show you how to load a different budget. Select the manager button. Select the new or load budget button. Select the second button which is Load, Sample, or Template. And here, you'll find dozens of budgets and samples to choose from. I will select this one here, the Feature Film High Budget. You will be asked if you want to link this budget to a schedule. I'm going to link it to the demo schedule so we can import some items from that schedule into this budget. So let's launch the budget. And notice that there are no numbers here because this is just a template. The samples have numbers. The templates don't. So let's import some information from our schedule. I'm going to import some crew. I will select 2200 Art Department and then 2201 Production Designer. Instead of creating a new line item here, I'm going to select the Import Crew button. And here, as you can see, is an art director, so I will select this crew member. We can delete this empty line here. Now we can do the same with actors, elements, 
and even locations that are in the schedule. So let's import, for example, all our locations and their budgets. First, we have to go to the correct category, which in this budget is 4,000 location expense. I just want a location cost account, and I don't see one here, so I'm going to create one real quick. And then go to that detail level and click on the Import Locations button. And then I'm going to click here on Select All. And look at that. All our locations are now in the budget with their cost imported directly from the attached or the linked schedule. Now, let me show you how easy it is to print your budget. Click the Quick Print button and easily access the most commonly printed reports. So if you want to print the top sheet, there you go. Simple. To customize the header of your budget, select the Quick Print button and then select More Reports. Click here on the Header button. This is where you can insert primary crew members, again, right from your linked schedule. Production company information, including logo, and even more detailed professional info here on this tab, including custom labels and text. This just scratches the surface of Gorilla Budgeting. There are more professional features, including fringes, foreign currency, groups, credits, integration with the Gorilla Ratebook, which allows you to pop in rates directly from all the major unions, and an accounting module, which allows you to track your expenses. But don't worry, we have tutorials about all these features. To access them at any time, from the Extras pull-down menu, select Training Videos, and find the feature that you're looking for. I hope this Getting Started tutorial has given you an insight on how powerful Gorilla Budgeting is. So again, no more excuses. Start budgeting.